Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to my channel. I'm Loverly. Happy birthday to The Sims. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I have actually been playing The Sims for since like ever. Um, since the very, very beginning. And so I am so excited to like show you guys this build today. Um, I actually tweeted out a tweet earlier today about it and um it was like the most hearted tweet i've ever had in my life like within the first hour i i can't believe it so yeah anyway um i built this today on the 20th birthday of the sims which for those of you guys who don't know that's february 4th so 20 years ago today the sims one came out and yeah like i've been playing since basically that time like i think my friend gave like Gosh, I must have been 10 then at the time. So I think I was like, yeah, 10. What grade are you in when you're 10? <laughs> Third grade or something? I'm like, that lines up pretty well with like, I played it like, at least the first, like, I think it was like the first year or maybe the second year it was out. Um, but since Sims 1 and I got immediately addicted <laughs> and um yeah for those of you guys who don't know me if you happen to be watching this because of that tweet like i said that just blew up and i'm like completely blown away um <laughs> literally you know um and i just want to say thank you guys so much if you were one of those people who came over from that tweet thank you welcome to my channel again i am loverly i play the sims 4 since i you know mostly the sims 4 on this youtube channel but like i said i've been playing since sims 1 i would love to do a sims 1 lp or a sims 2 lp but um unfortunately i can't get my sims 1 or sims 2 to work like i have them i have the physical copies you guys i'm such a huge fan i have almost every single sims 4 expansion pack well i have every single expansion pack i just don't maybe have the sims 4 like stuff pack <laughs> but yeah i have um been in love with this game like i have met so many amazing people through the sims community too um since i started my youtube channel um actually i was inspired to start my youtube channel a little over five years ago um in the very beginning um i had started with sims 3 and you can go back to on my channel and see like the first video i posted i think it was like an lp for sims sims 3 um island living or something which is insane because it's actually um right when round when a lot of people started making their sims channels um because it was right after uh queen i don't know if you uh, guys are familiar with queen but she was a huge shimmer back in the day um and unfortunately she had passed um shortly after this which is really sad and i've yeah um hashtag rip queen hashtag queen day um <laughs> um but yeah she um encouraged us all to like start making our own sims channels because she was like one of only a few simmers who ha had a sims youtube presence and so um you know and i think it was really amazing because i think honestly that was like her biggest gift to the world was bringing us all together um and so yeah anyway um i'm gonna tear up about that but um yeah so i have loved the sims i love the sims community i love all the friends I've made through the Sims community, um, you know, here on YouTube and also over on Twitch and on Twitter. And yeah. Um, so again, if you're a new friend, thank you so much for being here. If you could hit the like button, that would be super helpful and hit the subscribe button. Cause actually I would love to get up to like 500 subs. Maybe, maybe <laughs> can I do it in 10 days? No. Um, I would love to have 500 subs cause my actually you, um, like I said, my anniversary, uh, is coming up soon. Actually, I don't remember when I kind of have two anniversaries because I took a long hiatus between like, you know, um, starting my YouTube channel for Sims 3 and then like I took two years off. So it's like, it's technically, that's technically when I started my channel. But, um, more recently I started up again three years ago in, uh, for 10 days from now, which is the, um, you know valentine's day so i restarted my channel three years ago on valentine's day so yeah uh again if you're here from from the tweet or whatever if you want to give me a sub that would be like the biggest 
birthday present ever. No, <laughs> it's not my birthday, but it is The Sims' birthday, and like I said, it's that means it's everybody's birthday. <laughs> so anyway, um, I've just been talking this whole time, but I should mention like sort of what I'm doing, right? So this is obviously a big old birthday cake, and I had it like I had this dream last night almost. I mean, it wasn't. It was like right before I went to bed. It wasn't like an actual dream, but like I was thinking about it. I was like, oh my gosh. I've been wanting to actually make a birthday cake in The Sims forever. And um, I I was like, why haven't I done it yet? And it's like, because right now is like the perfect time. So don't you love that when everything works out like with perfect timing and everything? So, um, but yeah, I have always wanted to make a giant three layer cake. And in fact, after making this one, I think it was so fun that I almost want to make another one. Cause like, this is obviously like a birthday cake, but you could make like a wedding cake or you can make all kinds of fun cakes. So, um, but yeah, basically you guys can see, um, I was adding all those poops. See those, see those, <laughs> see those rainbow frosting and heavier coats unfortunately we don't keep the rainbow frosting we don't keep those rainbow crayons um what else don't we keep oh well i mean the fireworks actually um we do keep the fireworks up there but they unfortunately like they're one time use only so like i set them off and then i forgot i had set them off and i forgot to replace them before i uploaded it so and also like you guys see how long i'm taking to place all these poops <laughs> all these rainbow frostings frostings poops whatever you want to call them unicorn surprises <laughs> um yeah it took me so long to place them and then the game got rid of them even though like no sim was able to like reach them and throw them away so i didn't realize that because i was pl i have play tested this build and i was play testing it for a couple days so the original, um, like I said, the original tweet that got a lot of um, awesome, like, um, you know, activity or whatever, <laughs> that has a picture, but it doesn't have the rainbow poops. And I was like, oh, I was so sad. <laughs> but it does, I'm, I have, like, they're half, you'll see in the screenshots, it's like, they're half there and half not but um like i said i accidentally uploaded it to the gallery and i was like oh shoot i didn't replace the fireworks or the poops so um in that case um the gallery link i have on that tweet it's gonna be without the you know rambo poops and and fireworks if you don't care about that cool but if you do i'm actually going to be linking in the description of this video one where i re-upload it with those things so <laughs> if that makes sense i'm sorry like obviously i think i probably could have said that like so much shorter but whatever <laughs> you you get what i mean right so um hopefully that made sense to you but yeah, anyway, oh, also, uh, we just totally skipped this, but I wanted to put on, like, a lot of cute little toys all over the cake, too, because I realized that, you know, those little My Sim figurines, there are actually exactly 20, and I put exactly 20, quote-unquote, candles on the cake, and that's another thing I totally didn't even talk about, but I was so happy how these candles turned out, you guys. I thought it looked so cool, so, uh, you do need Island Living for the candles, because they are both items from Island Living, but I put them together, and I think they look so so awesome as candles um so yeah and the cool thing about this too is like it's really customizable so if you wanted to go in and like change some of the colors obviously in the sims it's really easy to do that you just click on the little design tool and you can change the color of whatever you want right so if you don't like the pink candles you can turn them to be um orange or whatever you want right but this is just how i i de decided to do it and then i love getting these streamers too so like i just like had i had so much fun building this you guys you have no idea i was like oh i could do this oh i could do that oh i could do that and um it's like currently after five right now while i'm recording so i really hope crossing my fingers that this video will be rendered and uploaded on the fourth, actually on the actual day of the 20th anniversary for The Sims, because I think that would be so awesome. And yeah, so let me know in the comments if I did it. Did I do it? <laughs> actually, I think I don't know if it depends on like, because where I am, you know, um, my time zone. It, it, I'm sure it's actually after the fourth, um, you know, in other places now. But I don't know. Does YouTube change it for your time zone, or does it still show as my time zone? Does anybody know that? 
Anyway, let me know if you know in the comments below. <laughs> yes. Um, oh, and also I loved these things too. So these I think came from, oh gosh, I don't know. They're unic, I love them. They're so cool. They're unicorn shields, but then they have this amazing rainbowy effect. And when I discovered I could put them all along the bottom, I was so happy you guys. Cause like I said, I wanted this whole thing to be like pink and rainbowy. I, I, I mean, it pro I probably, in retrospect, could have made it like super green or whatever, right? <laughs> but I just wanted it to be fun. It was, I, I was actually basing it off of like the wedding cake. Um, yeah, the wedding cake in the game. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. And see, it, you guys, it takes me so, it took me so long. So like I was placing them individually because there are, they are also all from debug menu, right? And I place them individually small and then I have to blow them up each individually. Ah, oh, man, it took forever and then they disappear. So, but, but I mean, you can't argue with that. Like that looks so much better, right? With the tops. I was like so bummed when I saw the pictures like, oh man. But yeah, anyway, like I said, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it in the gallery. So download the one you want. If you want the poops or not, just know that they will eventually go away. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we're nearing the end here of like the actual outdoor decorations. Um, obviously, yeah, it took a lot of like, that's where the majority of my time spent in this speed build was, was doing all the outdoor decorations. Um, I didn't actually use the new item. Apparently we got a new item today as well. If you guys saw it, it was a hot tub and it was a plum bob hot tub. Oh, here I am drawing 20 by the way, because you know, 20th birthday. Um, I don't know why, but for some reason when I went in to play test it, it would not let me change the color of these lights. Like usually you can, you can go in and say, you know, change the color and intensity of lights. And I, I kept clicking that button and it would not let me change anything with the light. So I actually like the way the, um, you know, the font came out here, font quote unquote. Um, I like how my lettering turned out here. It's probably not exactly spaced even, but shh. <laughs> You're like, why did you say that? Now I'm never gonna unsee it, right? <laughs> but no, um, I mean, I thought it was close enough. Like in the pictures, I thought it looked fine, so. Um, but yeah, um, I just couldn't change the color, which was a bummer. But if you guys, again, that's another thing, you know, if you're, if you're already in there, you can change the color of the lights. Maybe it still works in yours, or I don't know if it's like a glitch. Like, I feel like it might be a new glitch because, you know, the Sims updates all the time. So sometimes when they'll fix something, like another thing glitches out. <laughs> so I was going to originally use those university stalls we got, which I loved. But the thing is about those university stalls is they actually are a lot, a lot wider than like a regular build your own stall. So I was like, oh, okay, well, <laughs> in that case, I just wanted to do the, the old fashioned quote unquote thing to do, which was, you know, build my own. Um, for you whippersnappers out there who just started playing the sims uh we definitely didn't we weren't able to do that until university came out just just this last expansion <laughs> but anyway um yeah kind of being a little crazy experimental with the bathroom design honestly um i just wanted to take all those bright happy fun colors from the outside and bring them in and i figured you know how about maybe we can play to like play to the idea of um, rainbow sprinkles. So that's why each toilet's a different color and each door is a different color that matches the toilet. And yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I just like trying to make my bathrooms look different or unique. I'm not sure if I, you know, do it right. Like I'm, I mean, they're gaudy. They're all gaudy. They're all gaudy AF, but <laughs> at the very least, um, they're different, right? So I try. Um, but yeah, you know, basic blue and pink wallpapers. Um, cause <laughs> I'm just like that. No, um, I really liked this wallpaper too. And it's funny cause I just used this wallpaper, this like confetti wallpaper. I wish there were more things like that, like more just colorful papers, but, um, I don't think we have a rainbow wallpaper now that I'm thinking about it. Maybe I'm totally wrong, but, um, it would have been fun to use those, but I just decided to bring the same wallpaper from the outside inside and like I said literally my last build that I made which was the itty bitty living space aka that's a quote from the genie right 
<laughs> Rip Robin Williams. Uh, that's a quote from the genie from Aladdin, itty bitty living space. Um, so technically it's actually not a tiny house, but anyway, that was my last build. You can go watch that video. It's going to be in the end, <laughs> but it's funny because I actually had used this exact same wallpaper. So I don't know. I'm in a, I'm in a confetti wallpaper kind of mood, you know, <laughs> but anyway, um, I decided I was going to make this a restaurant. So I originally was like, based on my time today, I was like, Ooh, am I going to have enough time to like fully furnish this thing and fully deck it out? Or was I just going to do like a facade on the outside? And I decided, you know, you know what, let's make it count. Let's make it good and usable so you guys at home can download it it's not just a shell you can actually go here you can take your sims here they can have all kinds of fun and throw their parties here so yeah it's actually a restaurant and it's really fun because I, I liked making these tables all like different colors because I figured I was like oh they can kind they kind of remind me of like balloons you know so like each table is a different color kind of like you know a bunch of balloons that's the idea behind that anyway for me um obviously you know you lose the idea a little bit more when you start adding the the chairs on there but you know <laughs> if you watch this video you'll know that that was what i was going for <laughs> um gotta love the behind the scenes you know of sort of the thought process that's another thing like i I am like I've said this earlier in the video but like I am just so happy I am part of the Sims community where like I get to make friends and watch other people's videos of them and their thought process when they're making their builds because it's so fun not only that we get to now download other people's builds and put it into the game but it's so so cool that we get to actually you know we actually get to watch other people make their videos and like watch the build made from scratch. So I think that's so cool. Anyway, now we're into the screenshots. Oh, I wanted to show this little video. Look, you guys, so see how animated it is? We've got like all those little lights going and like the pinwheels. So this is just the still image now. Now we're in the still images, but I wanted to show you that. And these were, all, like I said, these are already when I didn't realize all my hard work of the rainbow poops were all just swept away. <laughs> and actually, oh my God, yeah, see, they actually grow trash plants up there. But anyway, that's the back. You actually go through the back, wink, wink, uh, to get to the inside of the cake. And this is like the main and you know, area you hang out in, the party room. You know, you can play your awesome video games. You got your sad clown back there, so nobody can be sad. If you're sad here, sad clown's gonna come get ya, gonna snatch you up. <laughs> um, but yeah, it works just like a regular restaurant. I play tested, it all works. Um, you can order your food. Also, if you happen to have the backyard stuff, you can make your lemonade there. Um, but yeah, that's what she ordered from the restaurant. She's just walking around with it. But yeah, um, these are, like I said, just the bathroom. So this is the downstairs bathroom, um, boys and girls bathrooms. And then we're heading upstairs and this is where the second floor, the second tier of the cake, so to speak, is the kitchen. And this is where you can make your cupcakes. So that's free if your Sims actually are really broke, like my Sims usually are, and they can't actually afford to go at a restaurant or eat there. You can at least come here and make your popcorn and your ice cream and your cupcakes completely free of charge. <laughs> oh, also and mixed drinks. So this right here is just real quickly to show you that you can lock the third story like that's the third story actually so like you can lock it so that way you know your sims can go up there and set off the fireworks but like i said i accidentally uploaded it without fireworks so oops <laughs> but anyway this is just showing you different tiers like i said so yeah the the door to the the roof so to speak the very top of the cake um is where you obviously set off the fireworks so this is what it looks like outside at nighttime. i love when it's all lit up it's my favorite when it's at night yeah, look at that. It just came out so cute. I love Freezer Bunny. He's my favorite character from The Sims. So I had to put him on the top, right? It's a little, adorable little topper. And with a fun little rainbow in the background. And then, yeah, this is where my Sim, she's going to be setting off these fireworks. And so I'm just going to leave you guys with a beautiful video of all the fireworks going off. Okay, so thank you guys so, so much for watching my video. I hope you loved it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more Let's Builds like this. Also, you can find this on the gallery under Happy 20th Birthday Sims. Uh, hashtag Loverly or my EAD is Last Love Bites. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day.